Black Ops 4, 50 versus 50. It's confirmed to be coming, and your boy is gassed for it. So, we've got 50 versus 50 confirmed. We're going to be talking about a release date, how it's going to work, how the gameplay is going to flow. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. But if you are stumbling across my fantastic channel for the very first time, then make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Now, I know a few of you will put in the comment section below, what the fuck are you on about? This isn't a fantastic channel, you dickhead. Then, I love you all. Just leave me a like rating if you don't want to subscribe. But just subscribe because I want to be at 600 subscribers by the end of May. And I want to even try and push for 700. So if you are new and want to watch our British geezer make a fool of himself while playing some Call of Duty, then make sure you subscribe. So Blackout 50 versus 50. I mean, the last time I played 50 versus 50 was on Fortnite. And I'm telling you now, if you did not play 50 versus 50 on Fortnite before everyone could build a fucking castle in 0 0.02 seconds, then you missed out. 50 versus 50 was incredible. There was no redeploy. It was issue 50 players on one team bus, 50 players on the other team bus, and you just battle it out until the end, and then one team would come out on top. And that is one of the things that was just so fun about Fortnite 50 versus 50. It was just simple. They didn't try and do what Treyarch's done with zombies. I mean, I got confused when they added in fucking gobble gum gums things. Uh, now, I just go onto it, and I'm baffled. I don't even know what's going on. So I think... One of the reasons why Fortnite 50 vs. 50 was so successful is because of how simplistic it was. Now, I I'm praying to the Lord that, for that Call of Duty, sorry, don't make it too complicated. Make it so simple that everyone's going to enjoy it. Regardless of skill, you could be fantastic at the game. You could be Billy No Thumbs and have no friends and got bullied at school. And still managed to enjoy it. Blackout. And I think personally for me, overall, that's where Call of Duty has failed. They've tried to improve the game and change the game by making it too complicated. If you go back to, say, Black Ops 1, that game was simple as shit. Anyone could go into that game and have a good time. People don't want to jump into a Blackout game and it's like they've gone back to fucking school again. They're made to play the game to have fun and get away from school. Not... Go back to school because you have to relearn how to play the entire bloody blackout map. So, don't overcomplicate it. One deploy into the map. 50 versus 50. You battle it out till one team wins. Simple as that. And Bob is my uncle. And I actually do have an uncle called Bob. In terms of a release date for this 50 versus 50 mode, nothing has been confirmed as of yet. All we know is is that we're getting 50 versus 50 and it will be coming obviously first on PS4 because of the deal that Sony and Activision have. But if I was to take an educated guess, and I am very good at taking educated guesses, let me tell you, then I would say it's going to come this operation in the next update. At the moment, we've obviously got the new game mode, Bounty Hunter. And then what I think they're going to do, because... Alcatraz is due to come back in a couple of days anyway, is adding Alcatraz again, let Bounty Hunter and Alcatraz, let people play on their maps again for a little while, and then in the next content update is when we'll get 50 versus 50, because people, once again, want something fresh, want something new, and want something else to play. But that has been the video, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If... 50 versus 50 was to come to Blackout in the next content update and you do not play Blackout, would it get you back on? Would it get you back on Black Ops 4? Let me know all that down in the comment section below. Also, let me know whether you enjoyed the video or not. And if you are new, hit that subscribe button because like I said earlier, um, I want to be at 700 subscribers by the end of May if we can. If not, the minimum, the bare minimum I want to be at is at least 600 so if you are new hit that subscribe button drop a like if you did enjoy the video and leave all the comments down in the comment section below but i hope you're having a fantastic day this is lukey and i'm signing out peace